Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Spy Family Episode 10, The Great Dodgeball Plan. Okay, um, last uh, episode, huh? Lloyd was trying to prove that Yor did not know that Yuri was, you know, secret police and all that, so he enlisted the help of Frankie and deposed the secret service police people, and yeah, he, now he's convinced. And uh, he's feeling bad about not trusting her in the first place and why not. So, yeah, that was basically <laughs> how it ended. And then we saw how the kiss thing happened with Yuri, which was hilarious. So, yeah, that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys have my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting my Patreon. At patreon.com slash filmini. And now let's start this episode. And here we go. This episode was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Like, so many laugh out loud moments in this. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> um, they started this episode with um, Master Henderson preparing, I guess, for the day. You know, his morning routine, basically. Um, and then he caught up with, um, the other teacher that's nice that was during the, that was there during the interview. And he was talking about how all the kids have promise and why not. And then they go to Damien. Damien is, um, what was he doing? I don't remember. And then his friends showed up and they're like, with this dodgeball, that's going to happen. If you're the MVP of this dodgeball, then you're going to get a, a Stella, right? Well, yeah, he, they were they brought in um, this book, I'm guessing it's a yearbook or whatever, where his brother was in there. They didn't actually show the brother. But basically, his brother was this big deal at the school and um, everything. So... It looks, it feels like he's, um, he's basically Sasuke in this show. Because Sasuke had a complex when it came to Itachi. You know, Itachi was this awesome ninja and, you know, he was in the shadow of Itachi and, you know, their father was mostly comparing him to... <sighs> to Itachi and then he's like okay he needs to um I'm, I'm thinking of the fireball scene where he needed to get this fireball right and then when he did it that's when he was able to get this appraise from his father so it's basically what um Damien was trying to do he was saying that you know when he gets MVP then his father is gonna take notice of him so it's like basically the same situation and then um, Anya also went home and told he's like, I got said this great news, this important news. And she also relayed the rumor that if you were to be the MVP of this dodgeball game, then you were going to get a Stella. And uh, <laughs> you decided to train her. And this training montage was like so awesome. And then... She was like, okay, there's this crazy move, this final move, this awesome killer move that she was going to do during the game. And I'm like, killer move? Considering who the person that was teaching her was? I'm like, killer move? Please don't go kill anybody. <laughs> but, okay. So, they went, the time came for the dodgeball um, match, right? And... Um, Anya heard Damien's thought uh, about needing to become MVP so that his father can notice him. And I'm thinking, okay, what what is she going to do? Is she going to try to make him MVP so that that can sort of like endear her to him so that the um, 
Lloyd's plan can move forward or something with the friendship plan and why not but that's not really what happened and then the match started and Demi was like okay I was told that if you needed to if you want to win we needed to defeat this person and then they showed he launched this I about to say fireball not a fireball but you know this high speed ball whatever at this dude and this dude catches it and I'm like I'm looking at him. I'm like, what is he doing in this match? He didn't look nothing like a kid. Okay. He looks like an adult with an adult body all buffed and everything. And I'm like, what is this person doing in the kids dodgeball game? And then they showed some kind of flashback scene and then they, they showed him in contrast with his father. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this dude is a kid what the heck and then they were like okay they needed to defeat this they needed to defeat him but the guy was just taking people left and right <laughs> that scene where Demi was like they came with a plan and then they went through this flashback of the training that they underwent and then you see them climbing mountains and it turns out to be them being on the playground and I'm like, what the heck? They were making it seem like this was some grueling training that they went through. And then when you look at the real thing, it's like, what? And, you know, the guy was taking everybody out and then it just came to came down to Damien and um, Anya. And Anya, the guy was going to try to take Anya out. But Anya could read what he was trying to do and she would be dodging, you know. And then she slipped and fell on the floor. And then the guy was like, wait, in that position, there's no way you can dodge this. And he launched this ball and he's like, die. <laughs> and Damien at first was thinking, okay, you know, if they take her out, he still has a chance to become the MVP and whatnot. And I'm like, okay, you know, yeah, he said that, but we all know that he feels something for her. So I'm like, okay, is he going to jump in there and, you know, block the ball? And that's exactly what he did. And he got taken out. And then <laughs> she gets up and she's like, she's going to do her killer move. And I'm waiting. I knew in the back of my mind that it's going to turn out not to be, well, there were, there were two options. I was mostly leaning toward the move not being effective, but then I'm like, okay, she also got trained by Yuri and she punched Damien with a punch that just sent him straight into the wall and whatnot. So I'm like, okay, maybe there's a chance that whatever move that she's gonna do is gonna be, you know, a killer move. But <laughs> she went through all the positions and then she launched the ball. <laughs> the ball <was> just like... <laughs> it was so funny. You know, I was laughing so much. I didn't actually see how I just saw the ball like jump be bounding and bounding and bounding. I just didn't actually see how the match itself ended with the other team winning. Like I didn't see how they took her out. Dude's like, eh? <laughs> then the ball is like dropped in front of me. He just picked it up and he just, her. <laughs> Maybe she she was um still reading his mind. At that point, he she would have dodged, but I think she has so much confidence in her killer move that she she thought she was gonna win. Oh my god, that's so funny. And also, like I said during the reaction, this game really reminds me of the 
was it Great Great Island? The Great Island arc in um, Hunter Hunter, you know that dodgeball game with the that game master that was so strong and so buff, and you know you have gone in Kirua and Hisoka on one team and what, whatever man, like that game was so super amazing and this room reminded me of it like a lot so yeah i love this episode so much loved it thank you guys for watching and if you like this reaction please give it a thumbs up subscribe and if you want to see my reaction to the next episode thank you so much again on my patreon at patreon.com slash filmini and you can also see the full one for this reaction there as well so thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye <laughs>